What is up guys and welcome back to another Clash of Clans videos. Now, a few little things have changed since the last time on the Clash of Clans series when I was upgraded to Town Hall 6, meaning the few things that are changed is that I almost I almost max out all of Town Hall 6. Now that that's okay, okay? Because like I said, it takes very short times to max out these lower town halls, but once I get to Town Hall 7, that crap's gonna take like freaking three months or something like that. So you guys don't have to worry about that. But this is my base setup right here with a fully maxed out Tunnel 6 almost. And you will see that this is a really cool base setup. I mean, look at all my defense logs and everything like that. I do have a few three stars and everything like that, but that's obviously from higher attackers like, you know, Town Hall 7s, Town Hall 8s, who have like, a, you know, a Barbarian King and just stronger troops all together. It is almost impossible for a Town Hall 6 to three star this, and I'll show you right here. That is the reason why. This is the reason that my base works so well so mostly for town all six they'll try to do all giants and wizards and stuff like that once they get to that archer tower and that cannon right there what happens is that that cannon and archer tower completely destroy the giants that are going in between the two defenses and it's just over from there i can only get three starred by people that are higher town halls than me which i mean is kind of inevitable i mean if you're if someone's a higher town hall than you they have better troops than you and everything like that but today we're going to be changing that because we're upgrading to town hall level seven and this is the biggest i think upgrade in all of clash of clans you get a barbarian king and dark elixir and then like a seeking air mine and another army camp too this is the biggest and we're doing it right there we no longer have max gold we used to be at two million gold which is maxed for me i still have the problem of maxing out gold we have max giants in our clan castle and now we're gonna go and try to get our money up again to max so as soon as i came across this base right here i completely almost fell out of my chair do you see that amount of loot right there and then i was so excited but then i looked down at the army i had and i was like no reason because this is my war attack strategy and i usually attack town all sixes and this works but my farming strategy is way more powerful as loot wise which is just like barbarians and archers and a few giants and a few wizards but this time it's more focused on giants and wizards and that is not good for me because I am not, I, th that's not how I attack. That's not the best for these types of bases. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and I already took out the mortar and then I took out another one with a lightning spell. And then I'm just going to lay all my giants and my max giants on that cannon right there. And they're going to go ahead and go on into the base and they're going to go ahead and try to take out as many defenses as they can. And again, with my, <laughs> wizards are good. Don't get me wrong. Wizards are good, but for farming, they aren't that good just because that you can have so much more troops that can basically swarm in on the base and wizards are powerful but they die just as easily as other troops and they also they they just they cost more as far as troop wise so that's why i don't like to use them in farming but we're still going to try to get as much as we can here we have a few wizards left and our the army is already dying so we completely missed out on all the loot Looks like we still have one more archer, but she's not going to get anything more. So we did still get a pretty good take of 174,000 gold and 201,000 elixir and dark elixir. We don't even have dark elixir, so that doesn't even matter. But it is pretty disappointing that I didn't have the right army trained for that time. Okay, so we're back at our base now, and we actually have the correct army this time because we're going to be doing a war attack, and we're facing a Town Hall 11. You know, he has like maxed out 11 walls, a level 7 mortar. So yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult. Plus, his mortar is really well covered. And plus, we, with, our, with our army, yeah, it's not looking too good for us. But hopefully... We're gonna try and get a one star. Hopefully, we don't get absolutely annihilated by whatever is in that clan castle that can hold 10 troops. You know, that's gonna be absolutely suck. Obviously, I'm joking, but we're gonna try to. He didn't even have any traps by the mortar. He didn't even have one. He didn't, not one spring, not one mini bomb. He, what is the point of having the mortar? Okay. You, you had all the other walls that you could have used. Did you see all the other walls he could have used to close off that mortar, but he did anyway? uh that obviously a joke guys the question isn't whether or not we can win this battle the question is can i place down all my troops in time before they all completely destroy the base because i like to empty out my troops each battle but it, and it looks like we barely got it in time before they all absolutely destroyed that last gold mine i barely squeezed in the last few troops i had before the war was actually over okay let me just say this too because i know there's going to be that one guy who's going to be like whoa that's actually a maxed out town hall let no no, it's not a maxed out Town Hall 11. It was a joke. I, I Obviously, 
don't don't take anything I say take everything I say with a grain of salt because most of the time it's either me joking or just being stupid but this is the base that we're planning on attacking next so we're gonna go ahead and train our troops and then attack it ha, just kidding we're actually attacking this one I I was actually planning on attacking the other one but then someone else took it from me I don't even know who it was but it was a jerk because I trained up my army for it but honestly we don't even need to train armies for what the bases that we're facing in this war are they're just completely just trash terrible so we end up luring the clan castle right here and he has something i've never seen before he put miners in the defense clan castle now i've never actually went up against miners and i don't know how much health they have and stuff like that so what i just decide to do though is because i know they can't do splash damage i just put in a bunch of barbarians for tanks and then put like wizards and archers around them and it ends up working fine usually there will be like a valkyries and baby dragons or something like that but they put miners in the clan castle but i'm getting off topic with the whole thing that's actually going on in the war right now so basically we just take out the clan castle troops and once the clan castle troops are done with bases like this and with any army literally i can have an army of all freaking wall breakers right now and take and freaking three star this base maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration maybe two star or something like that but basically I was thinking of only putting down a few troops, but then I was like, uh, this is taking longer than expected because his towers are actually have a lot of hit points since he is a Town Hall 8, even though he only has a few of them. So I just end up putting them all in anyways. Plus, we end up getting a great reward to add to our maxed out gold and elixir of 3,750 worth 500. Okay, obviously, we only you only war for the team, guys. At, at my level that I am in the clan, you just war for the team to get them the stars and everything like that the war bonus and stuff isn't about it. it's all about the team ship oh i'm i sound like a coach right now i sound like martin luther king with that uh i sound like abraham lebron james jenkins <sighs> i sound like rosie o'donnell and hillary Clinton at the bottom of trump tower on a saturday night playing shovelboard with a man named fat joe at the lovely i love all of you i hope you all have a great day why dude stop I'm so sorry that I just did that. Like, sir, I don't even know. I'm like, I am actually, so, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought that would be funny. It wasn't funny. Like, oh man. Um.